All right, the Detroit Lions stay packed. They did not make any moves. Let me tell you what I think about it. We back, Mercy Sports Talk. It's your boy, CJ Goodfella. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And um, I think it's a good thing. I think when you when you about to make a move to acquire a, a veteran running back or a veteran player, um, Gordon Bell, Jamal Adams, Harday was interested in him. And you give enough access, that means you got adequate depth across the board. And you don't have that many glaring needs. Where I have access to play, where I have built up draft capital, extra picks, a lot of extra picks, maybe like a Bill Belichick to play with. And I feel that the team is like maybe one or two you know, steps away. In the base, best case scenario, if, if a quarterback go down or an important player go down or whatever, we right there where if I get a Gordon or a Bill, it takes us over the hump. I don't believe the Lions are in that situation. I think really they like one or two more really good draft classes uh, from possibly doing that. And unfortunately for Matthew Stafford, that'll put him in year 13 or 14 or whatever it is like that. But I think it was the right thing to do stand pat. You wasn't a bail or Gordon away. In actuality, if we talking about glaring needs, they are a speed receiver away, a really fast receiver away. They're a left tackle away. They're a right tackle away. They're a left guard away, right? You uh, a defend a really good pass rusher away. All right. You need both. You need at least one outside linebacker. Assuming it's why you can anchor the middle, and you probably another cornerback away. So you're talking about seven or eight needs that you could fill in the draft along with free agency. You know, Melvin Gordon hit the market next year. They probably won't franchise tag him. You have an opportunity to pitch to him and give him a contract. Le'Veon Bell, he'd be on the market in, in, in the offseason. You know what I'm saying? So I don't feel like this year they was that close from, from making a run. They got a long way to go, and that's not Bob Quinn fault per se because nobody perfect, but this is going back to Matt Millen, the beginning of this century. Um, that's that just go from years to years of bad drafting that Bob Quinn has to remain conservative with drafts to build the team debt back up. And I think it's coming together. You know what I'm saying? This team need to get younger and faster, not older. You know what I'm saying? So I think I just think Bob Quinn needs to continue to draft players, bring in the right free agents. And, you know, I think it'll work out as far as Derry Slay not moving. I expect him to move in the off season. Um, I wouldn't move him. I would pay him what he wanted. Um, but. Hey, you got to have a contingency plan. They got to find a corner. And a, and a rookie corner won't cut it. You know what I'm saying? You got to find a corner that can go out there and do what he do. Corners are real, real scarce right now. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they could make a run at Byron Jones next year. Him and Darius Slade practically the same age. You know what I'm saying? They can make a run at Byron. Or they can make a run. Xavier Howard just tore his leg up in Miami, so he won't be on the trading block no time soon. I mean, so they got to go out there and find a corner, and find a corner that uh, you know, that fit they uh, they fit they that fit they build. But um, yeah, Darius Slay probably gonna be gone, and these guys you can get in the off season. So uh, as they sit in the off season, you know, you can get Mar Melvin Gordon for nothing, you know, but a but a paycheck. You know, you can get you know Le'Veon Bell probably for cheaper because nobody want him. You probably get him for a little bit of nothing. This offseason. So, yeah, I, I think Bob Quinn did the right thing. Uh, it was time to be uh, just reserved. Um, I don't think they need to be buyers or sellers. I don't think they need to trade off. Just see what you got. And if it turned out that you needed a Melvin Gordon or a Le'Veon Bell away, you live with it, you draft it next year. But they, this team not close enough to – or it's not close enough in depth or it's not close enough in in in, in the standings in the NFC to, to go go for it right now. And when you're going for it like that and you are, you know, uh, you're willing to give up draft capital, that means you better make a deep playoff run or you better be in a Super Bowl and they not there yet. You know, I think another good year of drafting, you know, offensive alignment is I think it's the, the premium thing to do. Um, you know, then maybe find a good pass rusher here or there, maybe in, in free agency or, you know, in the draft. And then – Find you a speedy receiver, but I think Darius Slay gonna be dealt sometime next off season, man. I would keep him. People say he injured and this and that. Injuries come with a part of the, a part of the game. The, the Lions can't replace him. I don't trust Bob Quinn to evaluate linemen and corners. 
Tease Tabor was a terrible pick. I said it from the beginning. You know, this team lacks team speed. Up front, everybody's slow. Our fastest lineman is probably, uh, probably Romeo Rockwa or Deshaun Hand. Jerry Davis is super fast, but he don't, he not, he can't play football. He can't cover. He can't really tackle. Christian Jones, eh, he really don't stand up to me. Devin Kennard, he okay. He good as a backup, but he ain't a starter. You know what I'm saying? Rashad Melvin, he he's solid, but he really not a starting caliber corner. You know, Tracy Walker got injured. He, you know, Will Harris, is he a starter? I mean, he just got ran over by Saquon Barkley, so we got to wait and see. But I'm happy they stayed packed and keep their draft capital. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email. If you got business questions, inquiry response, your video requests, let me know what you guys think with the Lions stand pat. No trades. We gone.